To start the episode off, let's have a look at the Champions League first knockout round draw. We've still got a ways to go to get through the Qatar World Cup and we've been drew as early as you like. We are going to be facing Sevilla away from home in the first leg, then of course at home in the return fixture. We're not that far in at the save, so I would imagine a lot of these players are still real and not very many regens in the squad. But uh, it's going to be a difficult time. They're finishing third in uh, the La Liga currently, so they're a good side. And that's what we've got to look forward to in a couple of episodes time. So here we are then back in charge of Sunderland. Let's have a look and see in terms of what happened at the World Cup. Portugal ended up beating Nigeria in the final. That is pretty interesting. Kalindia Mohamed, by the way, is my player. <laughs> Currently on loan at Orlando, playing in a World Cup final. That's not too shabby at all. But Portugal ended up winning the whole thing. Speaking of international jobs, uh, England did approach me after the World Cup, so I'm assuming they got knocked out in the second round by Brazil, 1-0. So that's why uh, the England, I did reject them. International management is not something I am interested in right now. But let's get to the first game of today's episode. It is against Aston Villa away from home in the Premier League. Uh, we have a few new injuries to talk about. Marcus Antonio is currently injured out for another couple of weeks. Batista Maia also picked up a knock during the off season. So this will be the lineup for today's game. Jack Butland in goal. Bally Mumba at right back. Perez, Baddy Yashil and Miranda completing the defence. Garner uh, will start ahead of Antonio, who was, of course, injured. Puji in the centre. Diawara, Gomez returns from injury. Nasi Unava and Sadetan Avci. Now, of course, we've got the likes of Lewis Montenegro, who we can bring on in a place of Sadetan Avci if he's not having the greatest game. Villa are currently sitting bottom of the table and we are away from home. Uh, we've actually not performed that well against teams we should be beating. So I wouldn't be surprised if we struggled in today's game. But let's get the kick off and see how we get on. First highlight is an Aston Villa attack coming down this right-hand side. El Ghazi receiving the ball from Guibert, but we do win it back through Nasi Unavar and try to counter-attack ourselves. It's not happening. We do eventually win back possession and we've worked it well between the defence and the midfield and Avci is in behind. And that was a fantastic, fantastic save by the goalkeeper. He was offside anyway, but uh, good, good save. Another highlight now, Miranda with the ball in the defensive area. Don't give it away and we are laughing. So Det Navji set in behind is such a tight angle. He does go for goal himself and it goes out for a goal kick. We're playing well. We're dominating possession. We're having the majority of the opportunities. We just can't find our way through as Aston Villa go close with their first attempt. Uh, it sort of reminded me of the Sheffield United game here. Aggressively tell the boys, I'm not happy with your performance. Get back out there. Do something different. And we have ourselves a highlight straight from kickoff. Baddy Shield with a long ball over the top. That is incredibly poor. But Sergio Gomez does well to win the ball in the midfield. He's driving forward. He finds Avci Pugier. He's got options on that right-hand side. He switches it to the left for Juan Miranda. Can he whip it in? He can. Avci is there. And straight away in the second half, Avci gets his 12th goal of the season. And he puts us 1-0 up 46 minutes in. We needed that. We really, really did. We don't need to see the replay. Oh, we didn't have time to move to balanced before another highlight. 47 minutes in and it's Aston Villa on the attack down this right-hand side. Gilbert gets past his man and goes for goal. Jack Butland with a decent save. I think it was going wide anyway, but they do have themselves a corner now. Baeza plays it in and Baddy Shale gets rid. With only 15 minutes or so to go, we will look to make some changes. James Garner can come off for Matthias Jakobsen. He's had a good game, but he is struggling out there. Sergio Gomez can come off for Kiatia. And I think we'll also bring on Lewis Montaneu for Sedetan Avci up top. Just to freshen things up and see if uh, Lewis can continue his rich vein of goal scoring form from the bench. But having moved to balance, it seems to have killed this game off altogether. Villa not really creating too much in the way of an attack. And we do get away with a 1-0 away win. Decent. Decent enough. Obviously struggling to get beat the sides like Sheffield United, like Aston Villa who are near the bottom of the table. So away from home, getting three points is never too shabby. That sees us rise to sixth place in the Premier League table. We're still a good ways off fourth place, Chelsea, nine points. And we have Bolton Wanderers coming up next in the FA Cup. Before we check, Lewis Montenegro gets himself a four-week injury. You only had ten minutes on the pitch. Before we progress, though, we are getting towards January transfer window time, six million pounds in the budget. In terms of our finances, we're sitting on 67 million quid. I'm going to ask the board, 
to see if they would give me more transfer budget. I, I was waiting to see if they would come to me first, but uh, they didn't quite get there. Let's see if they are willing to talk about We believe the current transfer budget is sufficient for you to reach your objectives. Um, uh, bigger clubs have uh, get lost, man. Stability, blah, blah, blah. I don't think we are getting any extra money, boys. January might be a bit quiet. So we've got the home tie against Bolton in the FA Cup third round. I thought we'd bring you this game so we can see a few of the familiar, unfamiliar faces that you don't often see. Kieran O'Hara being one of them starting in goal today. Ballymumba, Matthias Jakobsen, Perez and Josh Tymon complete our defence. James Garner is going to have to start today as is Sergio Gomez in the centre of the park. Abdul Kadir Omar's getting one of his rare starts. He will be someone I'm looking to move on during the January transfer window. Kiyatia, Nasi Unova and Sadetan Avci start today's game due to some injury concerns for Batista Meyer and Lewis Montanillo. Now Bolton, I'm not sure what league they're in these days. Let's take a quick look. They are currently 18th in League One. Right. The stage is set for the upset, Bolton. It's all on you, lads. Let's see how our boys perform against the team. We should be absolutely smashing. First highlight of the game comes nine minutes in. Perez with a fantastic challenge. Uh, well, he's taken down referee. Where's the free kick? He plays on. Sadet Navchi picks up the ball on the left. He's got absolutely zero support. He goes for goal himself and he manages to get that goal. He's 13th goal of the season. Roberts with a decent save to start with, but he knocks it straight back to Sadet Navchi and he takes full advantage. Sunderland 1, Bolton Wanderers 0. Another 6 or 7 of them and I'd be relatively pleased. Another highlight now, it's a free kick for us. Played back post. Offside? I thought he was. Josh Tymon with a throw in on this left hand side. Kiyati picks it up on the edge of the box. And Dramana Kiyati, that is something a little bit special. His third goal of the season. We'll see this again during the highlight. Tymon headed down by Perez on the edge. First time strike with his left foot. Phew. Bang and goal. Another free kick for us. Sergio Gomez plays it in again. Jakobsen. What rises highest at the back post, just over the bar. Oh, is that a goal? Is that offside again? I think it is offside. It was a long throw in by Bally Mumba and James Garner was offside. Only a couple of minutes to go in this first half. Bolton currently in possession. Can they get themselves back into this game before the second half? Kiyati picks up the ball in the centre of the park, sets through Avchi. Can't beat the keeper this time. Relatively content with how that's gone. A couple of disallowed goals, um, but 2 0 up, cruising. Second string side, we can't complain with this. Another highlight now, Sergio Gomez once again picking it up in the centre of the park. Going for goal himself, he hits a bar. I don't know if that was a fantastic save or just unfortunate for Gomez, but decent play from him in his unusual position in the centre of midfield. We have ourselves another highlight, Perez picking up the ball after a long throw in by Josh Tymon. Chiarty picks it up, Mumba switches the play to the left hand side. Josh Tymon to Unova, he's in the box, the shot is blocked. Josh Tymon picks it up again. And Avci is there for his 14th goal of the season. His second goal of today's game. And Bolton is sinking without a trace. As we should be. Josh Tymon and Unavar doing well on this left hand side. Shots blocked initially. But Josh Tymon picking it up again. Not getting too much game time Tymon. Um, he can feel a little bit aggrieved after he's performed pretty well when he does get the game time. And it's something I'll have to bear in mind for the rest of the season. With 20 minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. Nasi Univar can come off for Reese Nelson. James Garner can come off. Uh, we'll put uh, Matthias Yaps in defensive midfield. And we'll bring on Ben Badia Shiel in the centre of defence. Sergio Gomez as well can come off. We'll bring on Mathis Pugier uh, for him. Another highlight now. Bolton Wanderers on the attack. But we do manage to get a clear. And we are going to break. Sadet Navci getting past his man. Can he get his hat-trick? He unselfishly plays it back to Mathis Pugier. Who gets his second goal of the season. That's fantastic play by Sadet Navci. We have seen him a few times being a little bit selfish. Going for goal when he has been really, really tight angles. And still ploughing through. This time though, I would have expected him to take the strike there. But that's a fantastic assist. And we go 4-0 up. And time is ticking away. It looks like it's going to end. Sunderland 4, Bolton Wanderers 0. Content with that result, really am. Um, a good performance by a lot of our boys. Avci getting himself another couple of goals to add to his tally. And uh, we can be happy with our performance. In terms of the club vision then, I think, do we meet? The, oh, we need to win one more round in the FA Cup to uh, satisfy our board's expectations for that. But, happy. In terms of the next episode then, it is the 31st of December. So that can only mean one thing. January transfer window time. We do already have 
a few deals sewn up coming in, which means our budget is non-existent. Um, you'll see the fresh faces who are coming in in the next episode. We will have to sell to buy. We've tried to convince our board to give us more money despite being incredibly financially well off. They are reluctant to do so. In terms of our projection, we're not predicted to lose money for the rest of the season either. So this uh, this chairman is just a tight twat. So we're just going to have to deal with that, Andy Ward. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.